Thank you all for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, as we were assembling this morning and preparing for our public launching of this effort, Managing Director mentioned that 300 people almost are dead in Philadelphia this year, just about that number. The commissioner will have the actual number, but it's very close to that number. Uh, we are attempting today to enlist the support of white, black, Hispanic, Asian, every male in this city to step up. That's what this is. Our objective is to call to action 10,000 men my personal, 100,000, a million. As many black, white, Hispanic, Asian, every male in this Philadelphia tri-state area, we're asking to call to action to an event on October the 21st in a proactive manner by going into specific and designated communities of Philadelphia in our area and deterring unwanted and illegal behavior unwanted and illegal behavior from just killing us. And we're, we're dying all over the city because of this. We will facilitate the natural inclination, we believe, of each man, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, every man in this region, to do what's natural, to maintain and protect his women, women his children, our seniors, in fact, our overall community. My name is E. Stephen Collins, and I represent Radio One. Clear Channel is represented by Lorraine Ballard Morrill here. Kearney Anderson, who is the manager of WURD, is represented here. Radio in Philadelphia is joining a consolidated effort to support this call for 10,000 men. We'd ask our first speaker to come, Mark Harrell, a Men United, an organization that has for many, many years been in the community attempting to turn things around. Mark. Good afternoon. Men United for a Better Philadelphia is fully committed to the 10,000 men effort here in the city of Philadelphia. We're asking all of the men, the hundreds of men, who have been a part of the Men United movement for the past five years to become a part of the 10,000 men effort through the city of Philadelphia, become peacekeepers on our streets so that women and children throughout the city of Philadelphia can feel safe. We know this uh, effort is going to be successful, so Men United for a Better Philadelphia stands behind it 110 percent. We're asking all of the members, the current members and former members, the hundred of men who have been a part of uh, what Men United for Better Philadelphia stands for, to come forward, become a part of the 10,000 men movement, go on the website, call the number, and become part of this movement. Men United stands behind this 110%, uh, and we're looking forward to um, October 21st. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Darrell Robinson. Bishop Darrell Robinson is next. Darrell. Bishop, thank you. Thank you. We're in trouble in the city of Philadelphia. And we have come together to help deal with the problems that affect our youth every single day. Almost 300 deaths in this city to date this year. This is horrendous. This is terrible. Myself and all the people in this room, we're here for one reason, a call to action. And we need action. We must come together. The issue is we come together not as a special group. This is not a religious effort. This is not a political effort. No special group. We're coming together as a community of people that are concerned. I'm here representing 215 affiliated with Charlie Mack and Nick Reed. and We're just here to do what we can do to help. And we're calling on everybody, black, white, 
whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever community you represent in Philadelphia, we have to come together on the 21st. And we must show Philadelphia that we can bring back love to the city of brotherly love and that we can have peace. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Minister Rabbi Muhammad. Uh, in the name of the one God whom all praise is due, we thank God for his servants, his prophets. Uh, as a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I thank him for the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, my, my teacher today. Uh, I stand before you as a student in the ministry. I stand before you just as a brother uh, in our community that's concerned. I'm very happy to stand with these men and many more that will stand with us uh, October the 21st and also thereafter. I simply say this, not to sound religious, but Moses had a murder beef on him and he was on the run. And Pharaoh wanted to get him because they had put out an APB on him. But God took Moses and changed him and he showed him two signs. One, that his heart was changed and two, that his hand was made to be restored and pure. The heart is what we are, the hand is what we do. As I go out uh, to be equipped uh, with what we need to make real change, I go out with the spirit of the Million Man March and the spirit that we had on the mall in Washington that day. Because if the heart is what we are, we need to change how people see themselves. And when we change how they see themselves, we'll change what they do with their hands. And so we give this our full support and uh, we cannot be anything less, uh, Brother Kenny, than successful. Thank you. This is a really broad coalition of organizations that make this. And uh, Bishop uh, and Reverend uh, Robert Shine is here and has comments. This is the message. We must break the cycle of violence here in Philadelphia. Your presence this afternoon is a demonstration that the cycle of violence can be broken. Not just shattered, not just fractured, but broken. To break this cycle of violence, there must be alternatives that we give to the young people, the young men and women in our streets. Joining this effort on October 21, is key and critical. Your presence, the presence of Philadelphians from the Northeast, the Southeast, the Northwest, across the length and breadth of this city. We united together with these men and women who are leading this initiative. We believe that a significant impact can be made. We're calling upon Philadelphians, you, all of us, as it has been said, black, white, Asian American, or whether it's Hispanic, no matter where we come from, no matter what our ideologies are, what our philosophies are, this cycle of violence must be broken. The pre-registration is key. And you must come on that Sunday, beginning at 12 noon. And I believe that if we come together and there is this demonstration to put love back into this city and to take fear away, Join us is our plea, it is our message. The cycle of violence must be broken. This is the beginning, this is the initiative, this is a call for your help. Thank you so very much. I was uh, kind of surprised to see Representative Ron Waters here. He's had an incredible tragedy in his family, but he is joining us today. Representative, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm just um, pleased to see this activity going on. I uh, did get a chance to see what it's like to be up close and personal with the effects of the tragedy and the violence that do affect our communities. I just uh, want to say that I've been a legislator now for eight years, and I've seen many laws passed through the House of Representatives and the